Hello and welcome to Tech Talks featuring the PLC Interface Relay Series. My name is Andrew Bogachik, Product Marketing Manager. And I'm Clinton Hummel, Associate Product Marketing Manager. And throughout this series, we talked about the PLC Relay Series, and we talked about things you can plug into it, like the V8 cabling adapters from last episode. And I see we've got something else plugged into our bank of relays here, Clint. What, what do we have going on here? So we have the V8 control module plugged into our bank of relays. And it's not just relays. There's also some analog signal conditioners in this bank of modules. Ah, so analog and relays kind of in that same form factor. The last module we talked about was a V8, which was just kind of a wire in, wire out type system. This adds control. So it's kind of like a relay with a brain. That's right. Give your relays a brain. Okay. Absolutely. So the PLC logic uh, module is designed to be a smart relay that's smarter than all the rest of the smart relays on the market. Okay. And what I mean by that is instead of having a smart relay with a row of relays underneath of them for the interposing relay duties, mm -hmm. we can just take that whole extra wiring step out and put the brains directly on the interposing relay. So basically you're talking about as a simple level of control on top of your bank of relays. Yes. So taking that control from a centralized controller and putting it local to the bank of relays. And so what's the complication on setting something up like this? I mean, is there software systems? Do we have to pay for stuff? What's that all include? Yeah, that's uh, I think that's a good place to start. So the software to program this is completely free. It's called Logic Plus. Okay. It's function block programming, drag and drop. Uh, we have example programs, tutorials, really good documentation and a user manual on how to get started on this. Or you can talk to your local Phoenix contact sales engineer. They'd be happy to support you. Um, the logic module itself has timer functions, math functions, wow. and of course, logic functions. Yeah. So we can really do some small scale automation local to the application instead of uh, purchasing a high horsepower controller for the more simple tasks. Uh, perfect for a remote control situation. Absolutely. So I love the demos. So we brought a demo in today yeah. to show the PLC logic module. I thought that'd be a little better than just kind of pointing at the module to show you what the power of this little brain box can do. So what I brought today is a duplex pump controller demo to really show the flexibility of the V8 controller. Mm -hmm. So a duplex pump controller is often found in water treatment systems, for example, mm -hmm. where we have an incoming water into like a surge tank and that water needs to be pumped through a process. So there'll be two pumps in there, one uh, called the lead pump and one called the lag pump. And as that tank level rises, the lead pump will kick on. And if it keeps filling up past the second threshold, the lag pump will kick on. And when the system uh, brings everything back down to the level that it's supposed to be at, the other critical part of a duplex pump controller is alternating which pump turns on first for the lead and lag. So we optimize or equalize that wear across the pumps. So all of that that you just explained to me is going to be controlled by the PLC V8 uh, logic adapter right here. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So we're going to use a, um, on the HMI screen here, you'll see a tank level. Mm -hmm. So we're going to simulate that using an analog input. So a float sensor, if you will. And right now the tank level is about 15, 20%. We have no pumps running. So if we start to fill that tank up by increasing this analog signal, you'll see now that the lead pump kicks on, mm -hmm. pump number one, and the water, it just keeps coming. So the level's gonna rise higher, and now we got the lag pump kicked in. Sure. So it's gonna help pump that down, but maybe we're having a catastrophic event and the pumps just can't keep up. Now we're gonna have a high level alarm. Okay. So all of these thresholds are programmed in the PLC logic module. We didn't have to run in inputs and output signals to a controller uh, some distance away. We're able to do all of that uh, very, relatively easily yes. and at a low cost directly on the relays. Um, and then of course, if we go back down and the pump shut off, next time they turn on, we've alternated the pump now. Now pump two turns on as the lead pump. So not only is it um, taking care of the thresholds that switch on and off, mm -hmm. but the alternating of those pumps to ensure the even wear and tear of them. That's incredible to have such simple control really done in a small form factor right here on top of the bank of relays. Yeah, and the best part is we can leave it as a standalone application, or in this case, we're choosing to look at that data via Modbus. Right. And we can actually display in real time the values and the output states of the ah. logic module. So not only is it doing local control, some logic, 
it also has some communication elements. So it's got RS-232 and RS-45. Yes. That's fantastic. So you can actually literally see what's happening on some sort of display. Yep. And that's what we got here with our basic touch panel HMI. That's amazing. Well, thanks for bringing this demo in. It helps seal the idea of what a PLC interface relay series can do, what all the different attachments can help us do. And you know, we're talking a lot of physical right now, but I think we should talk in our next episode about the digital. What are some of the digital tools that will help us with the PLC interface series? Yes, I think that would be a great idea. When uh, you wire everything up physically, there's still a lot of paperwork or lack thereof to be taken care of on the back end.